Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming. Today I'm bringing you a budget Go Lurk deck. So how does this guy work? Well, the attack that we're interested in is the Fist of Antiquity. For two colorless energy, it does a cool flat 160. Nice. The only catch is you're just kind of not allowed to have any supporter cards in the discard pile. I mean, <laughs> supporter cards are overrated anyway, aren't they? We don't need supporter cards. We can play a deck without supporter cards. I mean, what do they really do for us other than set the deck up, build consistency in a deck, allow your deck to roll right through the game? I mean, there's other ways to go about it, surely. So let's have a look at the list. And the keen eye of you are probably already on the keyboard going, why are you not running to Dene? That will help you with setup. And the answer to that is quite simple. We're a budget deck and we've got Zeb Striker and I love Zeb Striker. I've been falling in love with this card quite a lot recently. And that's the reason you're seeing him in a lot of my decks now. Um, with the sprint uh, ability. So once during our turn, we may discard our hand and draw four cards. Now. Yes, that's not going to be as quick as Dedene, because you can whack a Dedene on turn one of the game. Get value out of the Dedene immediately. The thing with the Zeb Striker, though, is we can always get value out of our Zeb Striker right through the game, and he only costs one prize card. And I'm actually moving away from trying to play Dedene's much, just generally speaking, because with great catches around now, Dedene's are just easy pickoffs for two prizes. So... Yeah, I'm trying to avoid a lot of Dene, and I like the Zeb Striker here, and it works kind of nicely. So, to help us with setup as well, we just need a lot of cards that dig through the deck. So, we're running Acrobikes to dig through the deck. We're running Judge's Whistles to dig through the deck. We're running Custom Catches, because that also has the advantage of digging through the deck um, if we only play one at a time. Plus, we've got some Gusting if we want to use it for that. And then we need to set up with Pokemon. So we've got Mysterious Treasure to go and search out our Golots and our Golux, as well as our Inkay and Malamar, because that helps us pay for the energy costs right through the game. So we're running Psychic Energy as our energy of choice, which allows us to set up our Golux in the back line while we're um, attacking with a Golak in the front line. Uh, we've got Pokecoms here, so that allows us to search for our Zeb Strikers. And getting a Zeb Striker turn one, well, not turn one, but your second turn of the game is absolutely crucial with this deck. So you've got to really work out how you're trying to maximize your chances into that. Uh, a couple of shrines, they can be nice just to chip away. Some buff padding because our Golurks have four retreat costs. That adds an extra 50 HP, makes them kind of chunky at 190 HP. And of course, just the energy cost to pay um, the energy. And that's really how the deck works. We've got Zeb Striker to dig through our deck, which is in replace of our supporter cards. And we've got our Pokemon search. We've got our thinners to, well, really the cards just to dig right through the deck in replace of our supporters. Um, we've got Lana's Fishing Rod to go and replace Pokemon as well. So we can make sure we continue attacking right through the game. So that's the list. Let's get into some games. Hello, Love Knight. Welcome. Alright, now this is scary playing this kind of deck. Especially with starting hand. Thank you for mulliganing. Please mulligan like again, like 20 times. Oh, only once. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, I suppose I can draw until I have five cards in hand. The gullet does help. A little bit. Not a lot. Oh, we got Blitzel. Yeah, we'll play that. Uh, yeah, you're definitely going down first turn of the match. There's nothing sure of. Absolutely nothing sure of. But I think I'm going to have to go with the return. That's all I can really do. Wow, that's how bold you are, just switching straight away. Oh, we got the Zeb Striker, that's huge. Grab the Gollet. If that's the case, I might not run the return play here. What we might do is actually whack the NG onto you instead. And we'll use this to go and get ourselves out an Inke. Just start that line as well. So I think that's going to be really important. Later. Okay, so you didn't actually have anything. 
That's actually very interesting. Well, what we're going to do is this. We're going to whack an NG here. We're going to put this back into deck. We're going to grab ourselves out a Mali. So we've got that set. Quickly sprint. Alright, so we got another Blitzer we can play. Draw a card. We've got a Gollop we could put down. I feel like that's fine at this stage. Yep. We'll quickly Psychic Recharge, one of these bad boys, to you. And we'll... Kinda wanna hold this just in case. Yeah, we will. We'll just return. I mean, I've got to assume this goes down, but just in case. Got ourselves a shrine. That's awesome. We can go and get a Gollop back. The board state's not bad. And we can start hitting in with our 160 on the next turn. And it doesn't matter who wins. So you can only outrage, which means you live. Wow, that's insane. It's actually insane. <laughs> We're getting an NG to you. We're getting get you evolved up. Chuck a shrine down there. Zeb strike of this hand. All right, we'll psychic recharge to you. Hitting for 160, plus the shrine, so that's 180 damage on you. You're going to be one-shotting no matter what, so we don't want to switch. Uh, we'll just Fist of Antiquity. That's a heck of a lot of damage on that Reshazard. We got the Tag Corp. Oh, you got Mallow and Lana's to protect for a while. That is unfortunate. So I'll buy you a couple of turns. Just because I'm not going to be able to get the damage up that I need to. That is unfortunate. So we've got Golok ready to roll. So I want another NK down. I'm feeling like I don't need the other NK down. We'll draw another card though. We do need the other Golok. Reasonably soon. But we also need other stuff. We're not going to run a switch play. We are going to ditch this hand. We'll grab a Gollet. Chuck this to you. Sprint out. Got another Zeb Striker. So we've got things we can use. Do we want to whack out Jirachi just at the moment? Is how much do you hit for? 80 plus the 30 is 110. That's not enough. And you need another fire energy. You. you haven't shown that you've necessarily got that yet. Whacking out Jirachi just provide, like, breaks out some of the consistency. And I'm probably sprinting this hand next. We'll do it. Play two. Take out the Jirachi while we can. 
And Fist of Antiquity. Got a prize card. Alright, so that guarantees another Gullock. Because you're just going to run the heal play next, so now means you've got to bench something else too. And Outrage isn't enough for you anymore, so you need another Fire Energy. Yeah, there we go. At least it's forcing it to commit there. Outrage isn't enough. Ooh. Ouch. Unfortunate. Got some knee pads that we can chuck down. <laughs> Alright, I'm happy. First go with the deck, first win. That's good. I like it. Hello, Dirk the Daring. Welcome. Alright, so we've got a way into a Zeb Striker. Lots of healing. I feel like this could be Blast Pup Keldeo. That's just what I feel like it could be. Play both these down. So this could become Malamar as well, depending what we get and what we need. Uh, it could be just Blastoise, straight Blastoise with healing. Got the Elms turn one as well. It's like the ideal time to get the Elms. So we have to hold the Pokecoms with the Mally in this first turn. Which means we bin an NG and get an NG to you to make the most out of the return. See what our top deck is. Got a team of Squirtles out there. That's for sure. Got a Blitzel, that's like nearly the ideal top deck. If... Hmm. Do I take the chance here? Nah, let's just get another one of you down. How confident am I that I'm gonna live next turn? Semi confident. Because I feel like you're a setup deck. So, what I do is I put you back. Keep the Malamar. Go and get Zeb Striker because we need that for next turn. Chark an NG to you and then return. knee pads and some acrobikes. Hopefully we don't regret this. I feel like with this deck you got to take some educated guesses at times about what you can get away with while you're getting set up. <laughs> and by educated guesses I mean just some gambles <laughs> and hope for the best. Is what would you need? I'm assuming you're attacking with Blastoise, so you need a couple of candies and then hit Potluck with the Water NGs on your top deck. With five cards. I feel like you haven't got that. And if you've got that, well, then this is well deserved. <laughs> Whatever happens. So you got the Blastoise. Like that particular one. Alright, just holding at this stage. So, we'll Zeb Striker. Uh, let's hack by a couple of times. Do we want Shrine or just continue drawing? Drawing is good. But we've got Zeb Strikers, so we're happy, so we'll just grab the Shrine. 
Acrobat, grab a Golurk. That's what's important here. We need an NG as well, actually. That's also important. Give you some knee pads. Chuck a shrine down. Chuck you out. Chuck you down. One thing I will say about this deck, you don't, generally don't have too much problems thinning your hand right out. <laughs> Got the energy we need. Um, we do not need double NK. But I want to draw. We get another Zeb Striker for next turn, so that could be good. <laughs> I feel like we'll just Fist of Anquity. Take the Squirtle out, get a prize card, and see what we're dealing with. Alright, so that Squirtle's coming to the front, which feels like you might not have it yet either. So you're going to manually evolve that one up. Going to custom catch me. So now I need to find a switch. What's it with people doing that? We've got two Zeb Strikers to go and find that switch. That's so rude. Come and get a Gollop. Another Zeb Striker. Chuck an NG to you, might as well Psychic Recharge to you as well. And was it with people running like custom catches at the moment? <laughs> Alright, well we might as well have you up and put this back into the deck. Won't grab anything out of it. We'll just leave that there. Custom Catcher, ah! Did not find anything. Luckily we didn't pull anything we really wanted either. So we just sprint that out. <laughs> one more chance at a switch. All this digging got one more chance at a switch. Alright, one more chance at a switch. There it is. That's what we're looking for. Switch this back. Alright. Now stop being rude. Fist of Anquity. How dare you be rude like that. So you have your Blastoise out now. And there's only two more custom catches that can exist in this deck. <laughs> Interesting that Power Plant is your stadium of choice. Is that just turns solid shell off? <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. I think I'd rather that than trying to punishment personally right now. Um, might as well just bid this energy and grab a go look. There's nothing else I really want to do, and I don't want to be careful about decking out now. So, right here, we'll just Fist of Anquity. Boop into you. So now what? What's your plan now? I seriously can't believe Power Plant is your stadium of choice. I'd much, well, I'm much happier with Power Plant sitting here than Shrine of Punishment. Oh, what now? Some other two prizes. What's next? Really don't need that other Zeb Striker. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is a. Oh! You are kidding me. You are kidding me. I actually can't believe that. I can't believe it. Um, we don't want either of them back. We'll put this back though. 
Do we have this switch in here before I start digging? Yep, we do. Sprint. In fact, I shouldn't have put it back because I just need to draw that uh, switch. There we go. Alright. Fist of Anquity. Such a rude paralysis to finish the game. But, like I was saying, 6 zip victory. That is an absolute whitewash. Hello, Fabian. Welcome. Ah, oh, we really don't want our NK up front. At least we can get to our Zeb Striker, which is really important. We also need... Ah, oh, we got a Chandelure deck. Which is going to be interesting. We're also going to need, like, your pre-evolution. Got some draw. Going second, which is unfortunate. Which pretty much guarantees that this NK goes down. And we need to take KO immediately. We gotta hope a little bit that you whiff. Yeah, so you got the greens that you need. And you only grab that. Your starting hand is that good. That's all you grab. That is actually a joke. That is actually a joke. I'll just draw the first two. Psych energy, wish I'd acrobike now. One's fishing rod. I've got a gullet. So that's something going for us. Get Blitzel. I mean, if we were going first, we'd be laughing right now. With that start. But we'd be ecstatic with the start. We're going second. See, look how good your hand was. I can't believe that didn't go down last time. Honestly, calm. I'm surprised you didn't even like, grab a Pokecoms or something to put this back. This is one less Pokemon in the bin, no, in the deck. So what'd you get yourself? I've got to hope for things that can't attack. That's really what we're hoping for. And unfortunately, we did not get that, and we've got perfect draws against us. It's unfortunate. Thankfully we can one-shot this. That is one thing that's going for us. Do you want NK back? Mm. I mean, it doesn't hurt having the NK back. So we'll put it back. Just because we actually need an NK this turn. We actually need a lot this turn. So we'll custom catch her for a couple. Get an NK down. In fact, I should have burnt that NG. I don't think about it. Oh well, we'll sprint. I need your pre-evolution down, or that'll loo. But the problem is, I don't have the energies right now. I'll just quickly burn that. Just so we can cast and capture a couple. And then Acrobike. Go and get the Gullets. Alright, chuck that down. And for now, Fist of Inquity. Take out Chandelure. So what do I need in the next turn? I need a switch. I mean, double Mally would even do it. Plus I need your evolution. So I need a Malamar. That's just a given. Malamar's a must. We put the ditto up front. That's something we do do. <laughs> do do. 
So you'll be just getting set up with another chandelier. So we're asking for a lot because... Yeah, we're just asking for a lot. Because what we would need is, at worst, a Malamar, Psychic NG, which we've got. So Malamar, a Golok, and a Switch. Three things to make this happen. Don't need the Switch that early. That is painful. We got the switch, but we got it too early. We got a second switch, but we don't have a way into a Malamar. So we're not attacking this turn. Or do I just draw a hand? But then I need the switch again. Do I sacrifice Blitzel because then Ditto can act as anything? I think we do. Just sacrifice the Blitzel. Grit, as your supporter for turn. So if we can get this Charizard offline, and you don't actually bench anything this turn, it puts us in much better shape. But we're going to be two prize guards behind. So both switches are gone from the deck. That's something I've got to note. You're not going to attack. That makes things interesting. Got two Zeb Strikers up. So we've got some room to now sprint. We need an NG out of this. We've got a Golurk, so that's something. We'll go and get ourselves another Golurk back. Something we do want. Probably should have Judges Whistled first prior to doing that. Just quickly draw a card. Got another go look. Then we'll custom catcher. Alright, so we'll go and get ourselves out. We just need an energy card now to get out of the active. Go and get our Mally. Psychic Recharge. So hopefully we can find an NG out of Custom Catcher and... Mm, it's not ideal ditching... Go look. We'll ditch the NK though. We just need to find an NG. And we don't find it. Wow. Okay. No NG and I'm at risk of decking out now. This is where Fiona is really important. And it just gives you that turn to set something up. Get a Brox again. 
as use of order of choice. So I've got, what, seven turns maximum, but I need to possibly Zeb Striker. But I don't think I can afford to Zeb Striker Sprint. You are going to KO me this time. Thank you. Did you know, I wouldn't have found the NG to actually attack this turn anyway. You do need to bench something. I am shocked that two Brock's Grits in a row is what you chose. Thank you for taking that Blitzel. Alright. Ah, oh, so there's the energy. One more card. How many rods have I... Oh, that's ugly. One, two, three. I've only got one more go look. And that's for the rest of the game. Okay, well we're going to NG attach to you and Fist of Antiquity. Take out the Charizard and see what attackers you are actually planning to go to. Oh, I didn't even have you in, in deck. Oh, so finally you're putting the Litwick down. You finally realise you need another attacker. The Stevens this turn. Well, we'll take out the Macargo. You'll have what you need for another one of these guys. Do we want an Acrobatic? I don't think we do. Just because I don't have the turns left to Acrobatic. And what's Acrobat getting me, honestly? Possibly a some knee pads. There are knee pads in the deck. Are knee pads worth it? I think they are. Does it give me an extra 40 or 50? I think it's 50. Knee pads are worth it. Can I last enough turns? KO here. This puts me to four. Gives me four turns to get three KOs. I think we can do it. Still, we'll grab the knee pads. Alright, so it was worth it. Hopefully. Get some knee pads on. Fist of Anquity. Because if this can last, we go ahead of the prize card race. Now we can't afford to dig into our deck now. <laughs> what we have on the board is what we have for the game. And I've got to now hope that you whiff. Quite bad. If you don't, then this could be over. Come on, knee pads. 190. How many Pokemon do you have to hit? Oh, you only have to hit three. You always had to hit three. Maybe it wasn't worth digging for those knee pads. I just forget how much you would like your multiplier was. Get a green so you can dig out a lot from your deck. Okay, comes back. I mean, this is a massive spirit burner for you. And you have emptied a lot of like trainer and items out. So I'm not liking my chances. I mean, you've just got to hit three Pokemon. You've got it. Easy. You hit six or five, which is ridiculous. Did you hit any Charizards though? Oh, you hit a Chandelure. Which is probably enough for you. I 
It's gonna frustrate me though, I'm gonna be one prize card too slow. As the difference between going first and going second. That's all the difference is. There's no way you whiff. Absolutely no way. Oh ho ho! And you whiffed! That is massive! And you didn't get into a good attacker. Ooh! Unlucky. 60 damage. I mean, we go down the way back to you, unless I had another switch, which we don't. And I can't afford to really do anything here. <laughs> I wish we had a switch. But who's attacking you in the next, like, who's attacking for you in the next turn? That's the question. Oh, do you know what I should have done? Put an NG card to that Mally. Because if you've got custom catches, that could be the other way. We got out of the burn, actually, which is good. So we do survive. So custom catches in also the end of the world. I mean, you go down now. <laughs> That's not the big deal. That is a big whiff, I tell you what. Some luck going my way there. But I can't help but feel you should have been prioritizing Sap another attacker much earlier in the game. You get the go luck, but we've got the KO back. And with not many turns remaining. So, this Vanquity. And there's the game. That is a massive whiff. Just such a huge whiff for you. But GG's, GG's. Hello, Eldon. Welcome. I'm just mulligan. It is interesting. We're four and two with the deck. We've never won a coin flip yet. Mm, this could be awkward. At least we got the Zeb Striker sitting in hand already. I didn't even look what you're playing. Chuck Gollard up front. Got a Judge's Whistle. Draw a little bit deeper. We'll chuck all these down. There's no point sitting on anything. Absolutely no point sitting on anything, for sure. So what do we rank? Waza, what have we got? I didn't even look at your deck. So Waddle, Mew Mew. Trico. A Grass Mew Mew deck? Intriguing. Not really what I was expecting. Um, we can get you back later. Sorry. Uh, we'll go and get, not a Gollet, an NK. We like that. So that way we can play the Mally. Alright, we're not attacking on the second turn. <laughs> so we're going to be very slow. What's this do? This Pokemon takes 10 lost turn. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen Mew Mew with grass. In my life. Alex. Osmosa. 
Is this to make it like... So you can try and get around all the fire weakness that's around the place? Is that what it's about? I don't know. Chuck that to you. Chuck that to you. Chuck that to you. Chuck that to you. Sprint. What do we want out of this? Um, not your evolution. Honestly, I think we actually want the ditto out of this. Just because that can become Zeb Striker or Golurk, depending what we want. We're just going to empty the hand. And grab ditto. Then sprint. Oh, not sprint. Custom catcher. I'll <laughs> uh, draw a card first, see what this gets, because that might decide the acrobike. Mars Rod. We are not hitting any energies. Wow. That's impressively bad. Okay, well, we'll grab that. We'll chuck back a go look. And we'll get another couple of cards. There's an NG. Well, at least NGs exist in this set. We'll confirm that. We'll do this. Chuck some knee pads to you or you. Let's we'll chuck them to you for now. I mean, we've got other things we can get later. We'll draw to five. Because we do have switches in the deck still. So have to retreat. If you wish. Get your evolution. What are we after? Psychic engines. You are going to retreat. Start getting some things online. I forget what you guys actually do. You guys make it really tanky. That's annoying. Chuck this down. We'll go put you back. Go get a go look. Charger's whistle. A psych Genji, awesome. Alright, we're finally attacking. Took a while. We don't want the NK. Uh, we want the Psych Engine in the bin just at the moment. And we'll grab that to hand. Draw a few. Do you want to rot anything back? Not at the moment. I think we'll just hold this hand just at the moment. Because I want to be wary of how hard I dig as well. So we'll fist of antiquity. Or antiquity. So having two of these up is going to be a problem. It's going to be a big problem. Because that means I'm literally hitting for 80 at a time. That's what you're going to go for. You're going to make me hit 80 at a time. And probably switch this thing out. And I don't have any way to gust it back. Oh, I hit another 120. That's okay. Do 
Don't want to sprint this, not at the moment. We'll just fist today, Antiquity. I'm assuming you got some kind of switching now. Plus you've got this guy to go and get whatever you want. Another Swaloon. I'm a little bit worried about how much healing is coming. So we're going to get three prizes, it's just where are we going to get the other prizes from? It's going to fist antiquity. I mean, there's not much we can really do at the moment, we're just... <laughs> We're at the mercy of whatever you deliver to us. That's kind of where we're at. Getting a Skeptile. Oh, this is... The Skeptile... Cut energies away. I'm trying to think. I think it does, doesn't it? Gonna stamp me. No, I've got Zep Striker on, so that's not the end of the world. Ah, oh, it's only special energy, but it can leave Cyclone. And it can jungle heal, which is such a problem. It's such a big problem. How many rods have we got left? Two. We may need them all. Because we may need to renew these knee pads. And get lucky in our renewing of them. I still hit for 120. Does this not stack? Oh, it doesn't stack. That's alright then. That's nice. The fact that that doesn't stack. I wonder if he knew it didn't stack. I should have read it properly. <laughs> we run a retreat. Nah, just gonna mac up. So we get rid of the Skeptile. It means we've gotta get rid of something else. Let's get ourselves home. This does deal 190 when it wants to. Which is a bit of a problem. We need to prioritize you. One, two. Hopefully, we've got another Gollet in deck. But we need Go Lurk no matter what. Should we have a look? We do have another Gollet. Awesome. We'll just quickly sprint out of this. Got a Psychic NG, which is good. I mean, get that to you. Get this to you. I feel like I don't need Double Zeb Striker just at the moment. We do need some more knee pads soon. Or well, Fist of Antiquity, we'll grab those two prizes and then we've just got to get through like a Buzzmosa or something somehow. This is where my one great capture would be beautiful to have. I'll sacrifice my great capture to get a fourth Zeb Striker. Do I sacrifice something else to have another great capture? That's the question. I mean, it'd even be clutch to have these custom catchers. Maybe I was a little bit too aggressive on the custom catchers. Hmm. Perhaps I was. 
All rod, go and get back another go look. So that's one go look. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll grab that at this stage. Grab a gollop back. Quickly put a Zeb Striker back, just so we've got double Zeb Striker online. Let's grab a Gollet, although we need a Go Lurk on the next turn, so we'll grab this for now. We'll prioritize this. Uh, chuck you down. I don't think I'm going to have any issues drawing up. We'll quickly do this. We're just after our knee pads now. Oh, of course, I draw that. Of all things. Double switch does not help. Shrine might. We'll sprint. Get some more knee pads. Get you down. Hold the Lana's rod. Fist of antiquity. I mean, we don't have much more time either. That's a problem. The shrine can last a little bit, it'd be nice. Doubt it will. So I'm assuming you switch out of this now. And run away to the Mew Mew. feel like I need to be a little bit more careful on the custom captures and how many of them I've used. Although getting two custom catches at the same time is pretty tough. There's the switch plate. I mean, I get a fair bit of damage on this, and you haven't asked the shrine either. And we get ourselves some knee pads. So, Fist of Antiquity. So, you actually need to heal up. Which, this guy can heal everyone. But that is your GX attack for the turn. And I get 120 immediately chip damaged. I've got to be careful of my deck out situation. You have to get rid of the shrine now. I do have another shrine somewhere. Whether it's in deck or not, I don't know. Cynthia, so I think you're aware you need to probably get rid of that shrine if you can. You get the great potion. Which is clutch. So now you can run this away. Which you do. Ooh, that's... Oh, it takes 40 less. No, that's not enough. Unless he goes switch, you might have just given me game. I think he just gave me game. I mean, have an energy. And have a second energy because I can. But I'm pretty sure we've got game anyway. Because we hit for 120, right? Not wrong there, am I? Yeah, so we got game. Alright. I'm intrigued to have a look at that build because I have never seen a grass Mew Mew deck. I mean, it's only one Mew Mew, I guess. So it's more just a grass sort of box deck. I'm glad you don't stack though. I'm so glad you don't stack. I mean, you'd be nuts if you did, I guess. So, but good game, good game. And it is time to rate this deck. And I've only actually played seven games with the deck so far. And in all those seven games, I haven't actually gone first yet, which would be a real nice change of pace to see how this would work um, going first. But I actually really enjoyed playing this deck and I'm looking forward to actually coming back to it and continuing to refine the list in the future. But so far, 
First impressions are really good. Haven't really found um, any matchups just on the ladder tonight with the big decks of the format, so I don't really know how it's going to compete against them. But yeah, it certainly packs a punch with the 160, and we've got enough cards in the format right now that we can actually legitimately operate pretty well without supporter cards. So Acrobikes, Judges, Whistles, Custom Catchers, and then this guy, Zeb Striker, like the absolute MVP of the deck of just allowing us to sprint through and basically acts as our repeated um, supporter for turn just to keep um, digging through the deck. So. We really enjoyed that. Um, as for damage output, for two NGs, 160 is absolutely nuts value. Um, we're loving that. So it's solid. It's a two-shot base deck, though. So we're giving the damage output a 8 out of 10. As for the defense, if we can get some knee pads onto this bad boy, uh, we've got 190 HP just for one prize card. That's a pretty beefy Pokemon for one prize card. And we're also only a one prize card trade. So for that reason, we're giving the defense side of the deck an 8.5 out of 10 because we're pretty beefy and we're a one prize card trade. As for reliability, well, I haven't played it enough to really tell. Having no supporters, I was like really nervous when I threw this list together. I put as many like things I could think of that could dig through the deck as I could. Um, so the Acrobikes, the Judge's Whistles, the Custom Catchers, um, just to help us out with that. But yeah, it actually ran pretty smoothly thanks to this guy um, with no supporters. It really pleasantly surprised me by how well this deck actually kept working. So, yep, yeah, we'll give that an 8 out of 10. And overall, I'm giving the deck an 8.5 out of 10. And I'm actually looking forward to getting some more games with this deck as well, just to see how this guy continues to perform. So, yeah, fun build, definitely worthwhile checking out. And like I said, an 8.5 out of 10 for me.